Hey guys, this is Alistair from Trail & Kale here and this is my review of the Merrill Agility Peak Flex 3. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So firstly, this shoe is really cushioned. Um, and it feels so comfortable. You just kind of get that uh, feeling that it will even before you put it on because you know, when you look at this cushioning around the heel in the upper, it's just, it feels like it's going to be one of those supportive shoes and it really is. It's very comfortable. You definitely won't uh, have to break this shoe in at all. It will feel great right off the bat. The shoe itself is it's pretty flexible not too bad there. Uh, flexing pretty much at the forefoot. Not much flex towards the back at all. Um, and that's uh, I guess for support on the trails. The tread is really aggressive. I really like the design. I like the way they've done with this. Kind of looks a bit like a claw there. <laughs> I took these out on buff trails mostly. There was a little bit of wet terrain uh, so I tried to run as fast as I could over that in these and they held up really well so there wasn't any slipping at all uh, over that terrain so I felt really confident in my control whilst running over technical bits of terrain. There's something uh, I really love about these shoes and it's something I noticed on the Agility Peak Flex 2 shoes as well and that is Merrell's OmniFit lacing system what that is, and you see these sort of fabric stretchy loops here that uh, hold the laces together. Easier to see here. Um, they're really nice. They kind of stretch and allow allow a nice secure fit, but as you're running, they kind of allow a little bit more flex and. Um, yeah, sort of stretch in the shoe as you're running, so it's, it's a strange feeling. Um, uh, but a system that works surprisingly well. Um, it allows you to get a very fine adjustment fit as well. That's really cool, I love it. And that probably contributes to the comfort in this shoe. So the shoe isn't, um, isn't a super breathable shoe, so these, I imagine, would be excellent for those slightly cooler runs. Um, maybe not on a really hot summer's day because uh, not too much air can pass through the upper. Um, uh, similarly, that makes these shoes not drain off water particularly well, so I would stick to running in these in drier weather. Yeah, the um, midsole in this shoe too is really cushioned, gives a very comfortable ride. And if you ever find yourself on asphalt when you're trying to get to a trailhead, for example, or maybe you're in the middle of a race and uh, you've got this race road section, um, it can be really frustrating if you've got a minimal shoe and have to run over that terrain in it. So with this shoe, these are super comfortable on roads as well, and any really hard terrain. Uh, the toe cap in here. It's hard along this point here, and as in reinforced here, but on top it's, uh, it's not a reinforced toe cap. That's fine, not every trail shoe will have a reinforced toe cap, but just so you know. The drop in the shoe is 6mm and the shoe itself weighs 314 grams, I believe it is. Um, that feels pretty lightweight when you're running in it because of the all the extra cushioning you've got, you'd expect it to be heavier than that uh, for the comfort and cushioning and protection in this shoe. So that's pretty good for uh, a shoe like this. 314 grams, perfect. So yeah, I'm really enjoying running in the Merrill Agility Peak Flex 3 and it's a definite improvement over version 2. So great job Merrill, love what you've done with this shoe. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Merrill Agility Peak Flex 3 and uh, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel.
click the subscribe button and we'll be back soon with more content uh, about trail running, hiking, adventures, anything in the great outdoors. That's what we're about. So consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.